Hello folks, so this has gone spy. The spy will come to you live for Star Wars Nuts for Republic, Public, the Sith Lords. We made such a great uh, short progress so when I uh, was getting into the final testing of the fine styles, even though I'm pretty sure that there might be a glitch going on in that fight because she wasn't doing anything, but either way, um, I'm sure it's just something for progress anyways um uh Hemain had accepted uh, the heritage that was passed down to her by her parents mostly by her mother that she wants to become a jedi guardian like her mother that she loves and respected the most before what she feels for her father as the handmaid now fe wants to feel what her mother felt for her father when her f eh, as her feelings is directly towards me because yeah so she took in the role as a jedi guardian and then after that um i had a spoke uh, conversation talks with mira and suffice to say uh, her background story has revealed a quite interesting story of the fact that she uh, has her family uh, been in the Malcor 5 uh, but and was raised as a, as a Mandalorian uh, when she was a slave how to fight survive and have an honor which which she totally uh, used that code when she was a bounty hunter in Arshadal and when she wanted, and when she told me the story of what, of the reason why there is such a wedge between her and Hanar, and why he hates her so much, and I, she had became a Jedi herself, so. Hamain is the, and taking the role as a Jedi guardian as. Mira taking the role as a Jedi Sentinel as Atten is. So right now we're going to the Evan Hawk. We're almost quite ready to go into the th next third planet where we're going to try to uh, find Master Kavar, who uh, has a lot to say in the matter. Hmm. That's weird. Never mind. All right. Um. All righty. Let's have a talk with Goto and Kraya. Considering that I was able to save your life and spared you and allow you to be here on the Abnog, even though you have been able to somehow aboard our ship before your yacht was destroyed, you should be grateful. Hold on a second. A conversation that we're discussing. I wanted to talk to you about your operations on Nar Shaddaa. I'm going to have some other questions then. You talked about your reason, so when you held me captive in your audience chamber that you wanted to save the Republic. How can we be able to do that? And how can it be possible?
then maybe if there's anything uh, that you can be able to help those systems and their people either with information or resources. If you do have the credits, then that is all I needed here. Then let's hear what needs to be done so I can get those credits. You already said that. Tell me about Tantooine. I was able to resolve the situation on Dantooine before I arrived on your planet. I didn't expect my reward. What else that needs to be stabilized? The registration efforts on Telos. I could have e Look, I'm getting really sick of tired of people blaming me uh, for the actions of what I've caused that was mostly been pressed to pressure to buy the Sith. Never mind, just tell me exactly the situation on Onron that we're going to be heading to next. I did that so that I can be able to gain influence, just to let you guys know. I want to talk to you about your operations on Nar Shaddaa. Yeah, other questions. Where is your base of operations? Not if I had the same thing about it. I got some other questions. What capabilities does this droid you're talking through possess other than the regular functions? Yeah, you've already mentioned that before. And if they do not, and if they do, what skills does it have? Sounds useful. Hmm, those all can be proven as an acid. 
Good to have you standing with us. I mean, floating with us, so to speak. Got some other questions for you. What do you know of the HK-51 droids that's been sent after me and that you have allowed to happen since Paragus? Why exactly like they're hunting me? Were they on your orders? Figures? Do you know where they come from? <laughs> yeah, I've already got that message loud and clear f from those scrap piles that I've turned to scrap heap. You mean that they're going to be coming after me? That archaic memory uh, impaired assassination droid just happens to be the original model that's supposed to be a unique droid, and yet somehow uh, one of those bastards in the galaxy managed to be able to stole those uh, plans of how to make an HK protocol droid and was able to use those advanced protocol droids to hunt me down or any other Jedi's uh, in the galaxy uh, for reasons uh, that probably want me dead. You mentioned that they're in the Republic fleet. What are they doing in, in the Republic space? Why in the world uh, that the Republic couldn't be able to know about this? They're, they're not exactly stupid people, you know. Okay, and take that that they're all stupid. Yeah, okay, I take it back, they're all stupid. Why haven't you acted on this information? <laughs> and they're just going to be able to keep after me until I die? I got some other questions then. On the yacht, you mentioned Revan, but Revan sought out to destroy the Republic and the men after the Mandalorian Wars. But why? Revan at the time had limits of resources and forces of the Civ and the ex Republic soldiers, even the Dark Jedi's at his disposal back in the day. But why? Revan wouldn't need to conquer anything else once the Republic was d was beaten. Then do you know exactly where Revan got his forces at?
Until now, what exactly uh, is going on with Malik at the time? What about him? I'm sure he did. And Malik knows about that concept and is why he betrayed Revan the first opportunity he got. I'll be coming back to talk to you later. I want to talk to you once again about your operations on Narshida. As I wanted. I want to talk to you about Volga. Got some other questions. Where is your base of operations? More of your operations that I want to talk about. A lot of your operations on Narshada were carried out by the Joys and the Joy Shop and other places that I've come across and or have my uh, party member was able to notice about mostly uh, by me and T3. Fogus, uh, Friders, uh, were being hijacked by those same droids, the droids that you programmed them to do, that I had to fix in order to be able to get the resources that's needed for the restoration of Telos. The droid back in the Basag den that I was in uh, some time was built to play, to lose, and to be able to watch other players. And more than that, that swoop race uh, on, on Narshada was being dominated by the droid. And I have a feeling that you are responsible for that action. That Biff of the dogs who was murdered by his joy. Uh, after he found out that the frequency was being used all over the moon to rewrite the information, the relay frequency was the fact that you may have connections about. You ordered and programmed that his assistant joy to kill that Bev so he wouldn't be able to find out about the relay. I think that you've been using joys in your operations because you are a droid. The reason that you couldn't be able to tell what Fiskos was up to back at the Czech Tech Tar hidden base was because the droids don't exactly function properly in the Czech Czech Tar.
You've been using those droids in your operations because you are a droid yourself. I need to know why exactly Biff was murdered and his contact and why. We've detected no similar frequencies entering the Evan Hawk, which means somehow you're acting independently. Ooh, speechless. You got nothing more to say. Normally, I would attribute such a slip to human memory, but one of your annoying traits is that you seem to remember everything. Ever since that, so you, the, there are bounty hunters in the audience chamber before we arrived in Nar Shaddaa. That joyed, that I, that stand, that's close before me, was in that mean. You sent the hologram, you projected the hologram of what should, what look like to be a go-to human. But it really, it was just your way how to be able to. I've been suspecting that you were enjoyed for quite half the times. You've been behind all of this. All of those operations that involves the joys mostly. An extremely an advanced module that you use in before me. Why I don't understand and get is how you're able to commit those crimes. Desperate, huh? I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> but the most thing that is curious, so uh, when ever since we have our first conversation of uh, of our talks and the audience chamber is that you still want to help the Republic, knowing full well that what you have done to the people on Nar Shaddaa and things elsewhere that you use mostly of joy to do your dirty work. And when I came around, you decided to want to added both human and alien, mostly alien bounty hunters, uh, and, if, and perhaps some humans uh, to be able to add into the mix. It's just, I don't understand why you still wanted to help the Republic. It's where things don't even fit. I have told you I prefer no, you prefer crap of stability. You prefer deception of disability. The first Republic droid intelligence intended for the Citadel station was lost, or was it? What exactly did this joy do exactly that caused it to broke, metaphorically speaking? Man.
mess? Is that so you're the droid that was intended for the set of station? So all the crime, all the mess uh, of the bounty hunters, the hunting me down since Progus, everything you've done, it was really for the exchange, because it's actually because you wanted to help the Republic? It's been my goal since uh, I got back from the Mandalorian Wars since Paragus to help the Republic and help its people. But why use a hologram to use deception to deceive people that you claim to be human? So what happens now that I know you're a droid? You're going to kill me? I see. You're just a neutral party, a patriot, right? <laughs> you're a hypocrite is what you are. But aren't you going to try and have me killed because of what I know? I could have told anyone in this ship we stand upon. Very well. I got some other questions. What was it like trying to break in away from the Republic that you claimed to save? So you started to enjoy the crime you committed?
It doesn't exactly sound like you enjoyed working with the Republic, despite your claims of wanting to save the Republic. Who you, what you really wanted to save was the Exchange, because you think the Exchange is the Republic? I got some other questions. Why did you use the hologram that you programmed and made in your criminal dealings, especially sending bounty hunters to watch over to watch me from the shadows before it began a civil war? I got some questions for you. Where is your base of operations? Got some other questions? And there's the mystery of the mysterious deaths. All have been handed down by Goto. Goto not the human, Goto the droid itself. I can't believe it's the same joy that the Soto station was actually waiting for. It's almost sound... Yes. It was Fesis, Master. He can feel my presence in the Force now. Jedi Watchmen and Jedi and Wind Masters. I understand now. This force that I, that I just felt was Visa's master. Visa has told me that if I'm to be ready to realize my potential, I need to make sure that I know my potential before meeting her master. The same master that was responsible for destroying Baraluka and most of the Jedi on it for wanting to be able to. We're in war now. A war uh, unlike any other that involves mostly about what happened after the Mandalorian Wars. What the Sith learned about. If we're to be able to find the truth. If we're to be able to uh, win this war. To save the galaxy, I need, I must, become something else. I must become someone else. I wish to become a weapon master.
I understand. In time I will. I have gained the prestige class and taken my first steps into learning higher mysteries of the force as a weapon master. Interesting. This is interesting because I'm now going to be taking new steps as this weapon master. Like I said, we need to make a few stops first before we go to Onderon. That terrain is where we're going to be going next. There's some things I need to make sure that I take care of. And then I'm going to be heading back to Narshadon to deliver important news of one Cyclone West problem. Kreia knew Atreus at one time when she was an a historian that Atreus was before she became a Jedi Master. Alright. Go to hologram. A 
I'll be taking HK47 with me, along with T3M4. The female Radiodian, uh, the merchant, has been wanted to get off Narshadal to see if if there is a possible trade here for the Doom. I'll be going now. Mm -mm. All right, I miscalculated. Heavy firefight. Down to win is gain improvements, as I hope it should. Since I got enough credits again, I'm going to be doing some Jedi artifact shopping. Alright. I'm going to be putting stop here to after these messages, folks. This has gone spy, the spy, sign off for now. We'll be right back after these messages.